Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Hey, let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks so much for stopping by. Guys, I'm pretty sure this is going to be one of the, the tastiest beers I may have tasted so far this year. Uh, and I've had a few good, very tasty ones, especially in the last three that we've done. Uh, this is uh, Emperor Julius from Treehouse Brewing. And this was sent to me by Christian and, and he Wright said that he thought this beer was amazing and everything that I've seen about this beer and people that have tried it said the same thing. It's amazing. So this is the last one out of the beer mail package that Christian sent me and uh, this is the only one that he commented on and I saved it for last. I think the, the previous three have all been 10, so where can I go with this if this is better than that? Am I giving those too good of a grade? I don't know. I mean, what differentiates this 10 from this 10? I don't know. I don't have a... What is the meaning of life? Same deal for me, same question. Uh, all I can tell you is what I'm tasting and what I think the beer grade is and you may differ it you may think it's the worst thing you ever tasted so the whole reason is to pick one up and try it for yourself if you can get your hand on one so uh, Emperor Julius uh, double it's an 8.8 .8 percenter guys uh, pretty sure it's going to be a New England style these guys are in Massachusetts it says Emperor Julius stands tall alongside very hey 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 hazy at the very top of the treehouse family tree we don't take brewing a uh, beer like this lightly it has to make sense and the flavor has to be soft rounded elegant and easy to drink all the way through the glass to that end we consider emperor jewelers to be a triumph it pours an opaque uh, orange in the glass and gives off notes of orange juice orange starburst and overripe mango Sounds tasty already. It's the summation of almost 15 years of refinement of our unique style of hoppy beer. And uh, the picture here, guys, it looks very cloudy, very hazy. It almost has a, a dirty orange juice color from the pictures, but a lot of times those pictures are deceiving from where I'm pouring my glass. And vice versa, sometimes the, the, sometimes the lighting doesn't do the pictures justice. So. With that being said, we got the ABV. The date on the bottom of this one says 012622, January 26th. It says, be kind. Very good advice. Everybody could take heed of that. Be kind. Treat others as you would want yourself to be treated by others. Anyway, 8.8, uh, .8, date on it, 16 ounce, plain Jane can with a second label the way I think it should be done. But, again just my opinion anyway into the glass we go super cloudy very very hazy that looks like orange juice coming out of the can and we don't have too much of a monster head so let's doctor that up all right that's what I'm talking about uh, finger and a half maybe a head on that and guys that is super thick I mean man there's absolutely zero not even through the thin part of the glass down here I mean that is super thick looking I mean that is the quintessential thick looking orange juice in the glass very nice very impressive looking beer 
In the nose we go. Oh man. Orange sherbet. Mango. Grapefruit. Pineapple. Apricots. Melons. I'm getting vanilla. Almost, it's, it almost has a sweetness almost like lactose, guys. And I'm not saying that it was done with lactose, but it has that lactose sweetness to, to me. That smells absolutely phenomenal, guys. So, shall we? We shall. This comes to me by the way of Christian. Christian, thank you so much for those four awesome beers. Cheers, my friend. Again, a very unique taste to this beer. A lot of times these IPAs, I mean, I'm getting a, like I said, mango, orange, grapefruit, whatever I'm telling you. And then you, you get to the taste, and you're getting those, but it has a unique taste to it. Uh, and this is one of those. I mean, I'm getting all that in the nose, and I'm getting it in the taste. It is so smooth. It's so easy drinking. I mean, I, I'm, it's 8.8% and I get zero alcohol. Absolutely none. Zero. Zip. Blah. blah. Mm. I honestly think you could pour this in a glass for somebody, anybody. Maybe even if, even if they don't drink beer. I don't know. Me being a hophead, I mean, I might be taking this a little far, but I don't. I think you could blindfold somebody, not even a beer drinker, and let them taste this and see what their reaction is. Whether they they think it's too boozy or or too hoppy, or I mean, it's just, I mean, it's just like you taking a little bit of orange juice, a little bit of grapefruit juice, a little bit of melon juice, a little bit of this juice, a little bit of that juice, a little bit of other juice. You've taken all those juices and you put them all together, and you're getting all that in the taste, but you're not getting any alcohol to go with it. So amazing! It's an amazing beer, guys. I mean. It's incredible to me when the breweries can produce stuff like this. It's just so complex and yet so easy to drink. Uh, wow. Wow. I'm super impressed with this, guys. So let me go sip on it. I'll be right back. Hey, guys. I'm back. Uh, nice slicing is left on the upper part of the glass up here. And guys, this beer is absolutely amazing. A little bit of sediment in the bottom of this one. Not, not too bad. It's absolutely tasty. Taste is unique, but all the aromas and tastes. I mean, guys, to me, this is an outstandingly awesome, well-made, blowing my hair back and my socks off beer. I mean, really. Honestly, you can, it's perfect. Absolutely delicious, guys. It's this is a 12 beer in a 10 class. That's all I can say. I mean, it's one of the tastiest uh, double IPAs that I've had this year, probably. Definitely uh, worth p picking up or seeking out if you can get your hands on their beers, guys. I mean, it's just it's all about being able to get to the brewery and get your hands on it or know somebody that can. Bottom line. So, 
absolutely a 100 it's it's 110 maybe 120 not just 100 on this one now this it's world-class outstanding so beer advocate has it as 100 that's as far as they go don't get no better than that world-class and over to untapped they have it at 4.63 probably one of the best numbers I've ever seen over there so pretty impressive beer so uh, I can understand why Christian is saying it was amazing because it is it is absolutely amazing so this is the Emperor Julius uh, from Treehouse guys seek it out yeah, you can't go wrong I mean if you have a bunch of it send it to me ah! alright guys <laughs> it's awesome till we meet again let's go see what's in the fridge